Dr. Lord. Responsibilities are from her first job salary. So we want to congratulate her. And we hope that she sponsors many such festivals in the future. Uh, then we have Gauri, Soma and Sons, Adintan, Ariyan and Arun. Are they here? We have a gift for you. If not, you can come to the front desk and take it from me later. And the third uh, donor is Vinu Kartika Ravichandran. Are you here? Anyways, a big round of applause and a big round of We want to use this opportunity to thank all of you for attending our programs, sponsoring our festivals, the beautiful decorations that you see on the altar, the clothes of Radha Krishna and all our deities, and only through the support of all of you, we can put these festivals together. So we would implore all of you to please consider, if you had a good time today, to give some donations to the temple today so that we can put together more of uh, these um, organized festivals. Uh, we would also like to introduce you to a program which is called Monthly Donation Program, where you can donate even like a dollar a day, to be as low as $30 a month, uh, that you keep giving to the temple every month and it's a very small amount that goes directly from your bank account, from your credit card to the temple to support the program. So I'm not going to take much time as we have a lot of other stuff that we want to share with you. So thank you again and Hare Krishna. And we are going to be serving a vegetarian feast after the program which is cooked by Kamalakanta Prabhu and Premarani Mataji. So a big round of applause. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Wish you all a very happy new year. And we wish that the lives of all should be enlightened by the Krishna consciousness. Uh, we are sorry that because of the space constraint, there is some space in it you can find if you can go through. Uh, <clears throat> happy, this message is from the, uh, Happy New Year from the GBC Board of Directors and the Temple Council. Our GBC is Holiness Bhakti Marks. The Board of Directors and the Temple Council wish you everyone a happy, healthy, peaceful, prosperous Krishna Consciousness 2023. This is typically a great time of the year. We hope that each one of you has had an opportunity to regroup, recoup, recharge your batteries and spend time with your families and friends. With the city gradually easing restrictions, temple operations and programs began to return to normalcy around the end of first quarter of 22, with the full normalcy being restored by the last quarter of 22. There were many key highlights of 22, including completion of the multiple phase of renovations, inauguration of the new Bhakti Academy program, the return of in-person programs and Krishna Fund School. We were able to also back at the Central Island for Ranch Yatra and had ground-breaking Janamashtami celebrations with more than 8,000 people attendance. The Govinda restaurant also achieved record-breaking growth with annual revenues close to 500,000. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank many congregation members and the volunteers who have supported and donated towards the various initiatives and programs and we look forward to your support in the upcoming year. As we look forward to 23, we are happy to inform you that the much anticipated elevator project is moving forward. The elevator is a special project for senior citizens, those who cannot walk stairs, they will be able to use the elevator and come to the temple. So if possible, please donate generously for that project. After almost a year following up with the city and tweaking designs to conform to their requirements, to comply with our heritage building, status approvals were received just two weeks ago. This, this will be a significant and valuable addition to serve the community, including our elderly congregation members. We continue to strive to maintain and improve the legacy of this original 108 Iskwan Temple 
established by Srila Prabhupada. We anticipate in the next year's report to inform you of the completion of this project. We once again thank you for your support of 22 and wish you a healthy and safe 23 and the very best in the service of Sri Radha Kirch of Gopinath, your servants, GPC, Board of Directors and the Temple Council. One special thanks uh, and appreciation for the volunteers who served the temple during the COVID period. They did not care for the COVID, they kept coming and serving the temple. And uh, one small announcement, the doors for the deity the darshan will be open at 8 p.m. and there will be prashadam survey at 8.30 p.m. Hare Krishna to everyone. Say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everyone. First of all, Happy New Year, everyone. Hare Krishna. Was that a wonderful drama by His Holiness Bhakti Mark Swami in Peru? That was awesome. And after two, three years almost, I think since the last production, uh, I'd like to say a special thank you to our Temple Council, Lord Leader Seva Prabhu, Rikrani Prabhu, and Ramesha Prabhu who's not here. I think Ramesha Prabhu is actually supposed to be speaking right now, but they gave me one minute notice, so I have to speak right now. Uh, yes, we're going to have spoken about the renovation. We were very fortunate over the last couple of years, we took advantage of COVID. So we were shut down because of COVID. So Krishna gave us an opportunity to go over and renovate the temple. And we actually did a lot of renovations in the basement. We've heard about them in the past. We've gone from six residents to over 20 residents, Prashadam Lounge, multiple educational rooms, new public washrooms, etc. But our job is not done. His Holiness Bhakti Mark Swami, on behalf of Srila Prabhupada, has a vision for this temple. This temple was inaugurated by, he was actually instructed in 1975 by Srila Prabhupada to acquire this temple. And in 1976, we acquired the temple. And Srila Prabhupada said, when you get this temple, I'll come back. And he came back and he personally said that this is his temple. He walked these halls and he has personally blessed this temple. So Srila Prabhupada's temple is an original 108 temple. As you all probably know, when Srila Prabhupada was born, and there was a prediction that he'll open 108 temples. And he indeed opened 108 temples, and this is one of the original 108 temples. Once more, Srila Prabhupada was born in 1896. So when Srila Prabhupada was born, the construction of this temple, of this church at the time, started when Shul Prabhupada was born. So this temple, was this church at the time, was constructed when Shul Prabhupada was a baby, and of course, he came here to make it into Radha Gopinath's temple. So we're very fortunate to be in this temple. So we're now humbly requesting, it's been uh, over 40 years, 45 years since we've been in this building, and we have more work to do. Uh, our congregation is aging with a lot of older people. Uh, we're also very fortunate, we have a lot of young people joining as well. So we see a lot of young people now. But we also have some of our elders who have served for decades and they find it difficult to come into the temple. So it took us from about March of, 20, of last year, March 2022, till mid-December to get a heritage permit to permit an elevator. Uh, so we've gotten a permit to go and do an elevator which will take people from the street level to the basement or to the temple level, to this level. And it's actually outside, so we're not going to actually eat into the temple space, but we're going to need about $100,000 to do that. So we're counting on everybody to go out there and support and to go out there and help us and bless us to be able to go out there and get the elevator project. And beyond that, as you guys can see, we have a wonderful balcony here. And today it's full, and John must mean it's full, but we're actually going to be going out there and not taking the balcony away, but we're going to be expanding uh, and actually adding there the windows to actually add more space for us to do educational uh, programming and yoga. And on top of Govinda's, the plan is to go out there and use a flat roof to create a, a space where we can go out there and do outdoor yoga, weddings, events, etc. When, of course, when it's warmer, not, not in January, but in, in the warmer months. So 
So we're just asking for your support and blessings. Uh, the front desk can take donations. If anybody has any, and they want to volunteer, they want to help, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, I'd also like to thank His Holiness Bucky Mark Swami, who's part of the Building Improvement Committee, uh, Praharna Devi Dasi, uh, uh, who's another pro by disciple, and Kishori, uh, and, and the four, four representatives of the Building Improvement Committee are doing a lot of work to go out there and improve your temple, and we are at your service. Thank you. Hare Krishna. New Year. We um, today one of the uh, ceremonial things that we do on the New Year's Day is to offer the results of Prabhupada Marathon or the book Marathon to Srila Prabhupada. So for those of you who've been coming to the temple for the last six Sundays, you know that we've been having a campaign to distribute Bhagavad Gita. Srila Prabhupada, who's sitting right there, the founder Acharya of Iskon who we heard uh, from Nivesh Prabhu established 108 temples in his, during his lifetime. And he transformed the world with his books. His books, the Bhagavad Gita as it is, is now available in more than 65 languages. And during this past month, or a few months, people all over the world were distributing the Bhagavad Gita to share the knowledge, to spread the happiness, and to help relieve the suffering hearts. Um, so all over the world, there was a goal of 3 million Bhagavad Gita's. And Team Toronto, as all of you know, I hope you know, from all the different presentations that we've done, we also had a goal. And today, with all of you together, we're going to offer the results of that campaign to Srila Prabhupada. As I read this offering, I will highlight some of the key things that helped us during this uh, campaign and you'll also find out if we met our goal or not. So once again, um, the goal was 3 million Gitas all over the world and Toronto's goal was 26,000 Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Dearest Srila Prabhupada, please accept our most humble obeisances. All glories to your most magnanimous self that has revolutionized the world, your most compassionate and forgiving heart. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, Tapyante Lokatape Na Sadhava Prayasojana Paramaradhanam Tati Purushas Akhilatmana. It is said that great personalities almost always accept voluntary suffering because of the suffering of people in general. This is considered the highest method of worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead who is present in everyone's heart. Srila Prabhupada, you exemplify this and your servants in Toronto are trying to follow in those footsteps. The year 2022, oh, yeah, 2022 <laughs> has been yet another magical year decorated with lots of miracles by Lord Chaitanya's mercy in the service of your Sankirtan movement. After two long years, we were back outside the calling parties and Zoom sessions. We organized 10 monthly Sankirtan festivals, participated in more than 20 summer festivals and special events, and had a record-breaking book distribution at Vathiyatra. We participated in the global Bhadra Purima campaign and distributed 251 sets of Srimad Bhagavatam. Our Shastradan placement team, the team that distributes the Bhagavad Gita that many of you have sponsored, placed books in various venues like military bases, correctional institutions, RCMP, hospitals, hotels, motels, shelters, hospices, and much, much more. With their meticulous follow-up and organization, Toronto's Shastalan program is one of the best programs in North America. Today, we have gathered here to offer the results of the 2022 Live to Give campaign at your Lotus Feet, Srila Prabhupada. The global goal for the Live to Give campaign was 3 million Bhagavad Gita's. Team Toronto set to distribute and raise sponsorships for at least 26,000 Bhagavad Gita's. 
it has been a roller coaster ride. More thrilling than most contemporary ent entertainment sources, with all the highs and lows and an unprecedented demonstration of teamwork and cooperation. In a quote to Amshu Das in 1971, you said, Thank you very much for distributing my books in such severe conditions of cold. This is Krishna consciousness. In spite of the reducing team size and changing personal situations, severe weather conditions, devotees continued to distribute through conventional channels, calling parties, temple book tables, tables at grocery stores and at the city center, hanging on to your words and giving it a good fight. We put our effort in many innovative presentations which were well received and all of the devotees donated generously. However, with five days to go, we were still an inconceivable 4,000 Bhagavad Gita's away from our goal. We had low hopes, but we were determined to give it our best effort. Devotees kept going. With only three days to go, more vigor than ever before, we ventured calling friends and contacts, and magic started to unfold. Donations trickled in from $1 to $10,000. From a student in the community to a well-to-do businessman in the greater Toronto area. From someone who just got their first job in Canada to our most celebrated Bhakti Mark Swami. Everyone came together. Another big win for our Sankirtan team this year was the Corporate Matching and Volunteer Hour program. So many devotees came forward to support the best they could. Tides turned and the impossible became possible simply because of your causelessness. We're very grateful to report that in all, our goal of 26,000 Bhagavad Gita's distributed and sponsored has been met, surpassed, and smashed. Srila <laughs> once again, in your glorious service, we did it. Thank you. Overflowing with gratitude to His Holiness Bhakti Mark Swami when, for leading by your glorious example. To His Grace Vaisheshi Prabhu for His ever increasing encouragement and faith, and to all the devotees who participated in this campaign. This, this has truly been a team effort, fulfilling the spirit of Sankirtan in every way. Live to Give campaign is a testimony of what a lot of people, each doing a little bit, can accomplish. Armed with faith in your instructions and the magic of Lord Chaitanya, more than ever before, Srila Prabhupada, we're ready for the next year. As we look forward to 2023, we hope that it will be a year of strengthening our forces, for expanding from the, the new innovations, for training future leaders, for a sustainable growth and succession. We pray for the good health and continued strength, material and spiritual, for all our Sankirtan warriors, so that in spite of the changing seasons, we can remain connected to the Sankirtan movement. Thank you, Srila Prabhupada, for allowing us to access this most precious service. We pray to remain in the service of your lotus feet always your aspiring servants at the Toronto Sankirtan team. Srila Prabhupada! We have a one minute clip, so if we can get the lights, if possible. Anybody have the light? Oh, that light, okay, yes. Just we can turn off the switches for one minute, please. Oh. It's a top one, sorry. Okay, you can start. No problem. Oh yes, of course. 